Welcome back fellow coders, Jared Leary here with Boot Up. This video, I'm gonna show you how to make sprites talk. So I've gone ahead and made another sprite and this sprite is just the grandpa's head. So I use the same steps that I used in the other video on the uh, sprite to a button. And so I'm gonna go to my costumes and you'll see just the head right here. And I'm going to duplicate this because I wanna have one costume for the mouth closed like it is right now and another for the mouth open. So I duplicate. And now to make the mouth open, what I'm gonna do is use this select tool and I'm going to highlight the mouth, maybe about this much of it. And then I'm simply just going to drag it down like this. Now to make it look like the mouth opens, I'm going to color this in. So I'm gonna use the fill tool and I want it to fill with, um, let's just say the color black. So when I click, now it's there. And so we can make it look like his mouth is open and closed. Now to know which costume is which, I'm going to name this and I'm gonna say open mouth for the open mouth. And for this one, I'm gonna say, whoops, closed mouth. Cool. So now I'll be able to switch between these two costumes. Now, um, before I get started with this, um, just like with the previous one, I wanna make sure that this goes to the front. So I click on it and aha, now we can actually see the open mouth because before it was actually hiding behind our painting. So the, now that that's nice and good, I wanna make it so that when I click on this mouth that it uh, says something like says hello. So I'm going to say for my event, when the sprite is clicked, say hello. Let me zoom in so you can see this a little bit better. And I want it to open its mouth. So to do that, we're gonna say open mouth, say hello and then close mouth. So check this out. Says hello, closes the mouth. Says hello, closes the mouth. Pretty easy. Now, just to make sure that it always starts with the mouth, mouth closed, we're going to use this with a when the green flag is clicked, so that way it always resets this so the mouth is closed. Now, this works well. However, I don't know about you, but I don't know people who say hello without closing their mouth like that. I mean, maybe you know some people like that, but I don't. So I wanna make it so that the mouth moves. So when we say hello, it makes it look like the mouth is actually talking. So we're gonna use this other say block that doesn't have the seconds on it. So I'm gonna get rid of this. So it's gonna say hello. And we're going to actually have it switch the costume. And we're gonna repeat this a few times. So we're gonna use a control block and say switch costumes to the next costume. And we're gonna wait a little bit between each time. So let me talk you through this code. So when we click on it, we're going to open the mouth. We're going to say hello. And while it's saying hello, it's going to repeat doing this thing where it's going to wait a little bit, switch costume, wait a little bit, switch costume. And because there's only two costumes on here, it's just going to switch between the closed and open mouth. So check this out. Click on it. Hello. Then he starts moving his mouth. Awesome. However, he's still saying hello and his mouth is closed. So he's like, hello. how are you doing? I don't want it to do that. So I'm gonna go to my looks and I'm going to use another say block and simply make this blank. So what this does is when it says hello, it's gonna run this code. And then when it finishes running this repeat, it's going to say blank, which means nothing. So we won't actually see this code. So let me show you how that works. So I press go, I click on this face, it says hello, and then it gets rid of it and it closes the mouth. So. Experiment with this. You can do some really cool uh, things with it. You can maybe even randomize this. So you can be like, hey, I want you to say hello between like 0 0.05 and like 0 0.2 seconds. And so now his mouth moves randomly when talking. There's lots of cool things you can do when making a sprite talk. Just simply go into it, make two different costumes for the mouth being open and closed, and then use code like this to make some pretty neat code. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let us know something that you learned or created in the comments below. And make sure to subscribe, like, and check out the links in the description for even more free resources, such as videos, free lesson plans, and our podcast.